Hey, so um, I'm just going to post a really quick video to say that I'm okay. Um, I had my surgery on Monday. I came home yesterday. I'm just sitting around being bored now. I can't really be bothered to make a full video. And my girlfriend's just popped out to the shop, so like, I can't show you my chest. But it looks fantastic. Um, I'll put some pictures in that I took. Um, there's a little bit of bleeding from one nipple, which is a little bit worrying. But I think I'm just stressing out about it more than I need to, just because I'm like here and so far away from them and I'm not seeing them for like another week and I'll go back for the post-op. Yeah, I'm not really worried about it anymore because we put another plaster over it um, before I went to bed last night and it hasn't shown through any of that and they wouldn't have given me extra dressings if I didn't think it was going to bleed a bit so um, I'm not too concerned and I've got their number if I want to call them um, or send emails or whatever. Um, not really in any pain at all. I've took a paracetamol today. I don't really think I needed to. I just I could feel that something was going on, so I thought I'll take it. Um, it's better to take it than not take it. It just looks fantastic. Everything, the whole experience, really was fantastic. Everyone was brilliant there. It was really relaxed and. Everyone was just wonderful. And see why people like the food there. I feel like I've been pretty fortunate because I haven't really had any pain and any nausea. I just, yeah, I woke, when I woke up, I felt like possibly slightly drunk kind of feeling. I could tell I was slurring my words a little bit, that sort of feeling. And then I got quite confused because the clock on the wall in the recovery, the second hand didn't work. So I was looking at the clock and the clock wasn't moving. And I was just like, to the, um, the lady that was sat next to me, like a nurse or someone, I was just like, sorry, is your clock broken? And she was like, no. And I got really confused. And I was looking at this clock and it wasn't moving and she was telling me it was fine. And then she explained that it wasn't broken but the second hand is broken. And that was a bit, what? But yeah, other than that, it's just, just I feel fine. Like, it's really annoying because my mind is perfectly fine, my legs are perfectly fine, you know, my arms are fine, it's just my chest kind of, you can tell something's not quite right, but it looks fantastic, like, it's a lot flatter um, than I thought it would be, like, this soon after surgery, because um, I was bracing myself for some, like, nasty swelling and stuff. He took the dressings off completely to have a look at them um, on Tuesday morning, and the nipples looked absolutely gross, um, and he kept poking one, because he said it looked a bit pale. Yeah, it was very grim. They looked like poached plums, I think, but the actual chest itself is just, yeah, it's, it's incredible. Um, yeah, there's not really much to say here. It's a lot to, there's a lot that's happened that I want to talk about, but I don't know how to talk about it. I will try and keep updated at some point. Um, so this is a bit of a ramble. I just don't really know what to say right now. It's, it's a lot to take in, um, but I'm, I'm doing well. I'm back at home and everything is good, I think. And I'll see you around.